Genesis 42 today, looking at a few verses uh, with continuing the conversations between Joseph and his brothers in Egypt. Verse 21 says, uh, speaking among themselves, they said, clearly we are being punished because of what we did to Joseph long ago. We saw his anguish when he pleaded for his life, but we wouldn't listen. That's why we're in this trouble. Finally figured something out. Verse 22, didn't I tell you not to sin against the boy, Reuben asked. And Reuben was the one that, in that, in that account, in that story, that had tried to talk them out of, of killing him. And then he left, and when he came back, they had already sold him into slavery because he was going to get the boy out of the pit. He was going to pull Joseph out and take him home. So Reuben kind of stood up for the right thing, but then kind of didn't all the way. I mean, it was... You know, he was still willing to kind of try to work with this. He didn't make his brothers too mad. He was going to sneak him out. So, you know, Reuben's not exactly innocent in this. Uh, but you wouldn't listen. And now we have to answer for his blood. Verse 23. Of course, they didn't know that Joseph understood them, for he had been speaking to them through an interpreter. Now he turned away from them and began to weep. And when he gained his composure, he spoke to them again. Then he chose Simeon from among them and had him tied up right before their eyes. So... They thought this complicated mess that they were in right now was a direct result of the sin that they had committed against Joseph. And it's hard for them to find a direct connection, really, because they didn't understand that it was Joseph they were talking with, because he's speaking through an interpreter, speaking Egyptian, dressed in all the, the raiments of royalty in Egypt. So it was tough for them to connect it. It was, but they didn't know that. But this guilty conscience that they had, it, um, it really was eating them up. And they were seeing um, the, the repercussions for their sin in every, in every bad thing in this moment. And I think that that was not a bad thing here. Uh, they had to be brought to a place of deep regret and deep repentance to make this right. They had to deal with their sin. And so God took and placed them in this, this awful circumstance of being in prison, of having one of them having to, or all of them leaving, having to leave one behind to go get Benjamin, bring him back. And if they didn't, that was going to be the end of them. They wouldn't be able to go back and get any more food if they didn't bring Benjamin back. And Simeon, who knows what was going to happen to him. Maybe he would be killed. I, I mean, in their minds, I mean, I know Joseph wasn't going to kill him, but in their minds, he could. So Joseph even becomes emotional here. You know, it, in this, Joseph was overcome with emotion. I think he understood that God was working in their hearts and in their conscience. God had to do that deep work, and I think Joseph was starting to see that because I think it is hard. Joseph did want to be reunited with his family. I think he had forgiven. At this point, he had let it go, and good for him. It was the right thing to do. But it was still a difficult time. And these brothers were terrified. And they should have been. They should have been. They needed to go through some difficult things to come to the place of repentance they needed to be at. And God was going to take them into some deep waters to help them get past this and to reunite this family. And we'll talk about that another day.